Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. Thanks so much for watching today. Beginning of the month, time to put makeup in a bin that I'm really trying to focus on using for the month of July. One thing I'm really looking forward to is um, getting a new storage system for my makeup. And it's not really new, it's already in the house. It's been something that we got years ago for our girls when they were sharing a room. And this piece of furniture now lives in my youngest daughter's room. It's one of those kind of cubby systems from Ikea. Um, and it has eight cubbies in it. And they fit those kind of square fabric boxes. And they would put, my kids would put all their toys in there or some of their books or things like that and she is done she's like i don't want it in here anymore it's too big it's taking up too much room and so i was like oh, can i have it so i'm hoping 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 that sometime this month she'll get all of her things out of it i'll be able to move it into my room and to kind of exchange the way i'm currently i'm reaching over here storing my makeup in the drawers that i have i do have an alex drawer from ikea and I think it's great, but I think that I put too much weight in there because a lot of the drawers are bowing at the bottom. And when I'm trying to pull them out, sometimes they get jammed. Yeah. So what I end up doing is opening the drawer below, pushing it up and then pulling it out. And I, I just feel like it's a disaster waiting to happen. I do have another set of kind of press board drawers that are already having problems because of weight um, that I got at Goodwill for like 10 bucks. And so I'd be very happy to get rid of the, you know, drawers that I got at Goodwill and uh, maybe to repurpose the Alex drawers, see if my husband can fix that, you know, bottom that's bowing. And, and maybe we could put other things in there and still use it, but not necessarily for storing makeup. But I feel like using those, you know, cubbies that have really sturdy material on them, it's going to hold weight a little bit better. The other thing I did is I picked up some new um, bins at the whole unit itself is white and I thought white bins would be nice and make it look really pristine and the longer I'm in here I'm like all I see is dust and cat hair <laughs> I guess that that'll just mean I have to be really tidy and make sure I'm forever dusting which will be my least favorite thing but it's necessary so let me move the camera and we'll start putting stuff in the bin I'm going to start by pulling powders and foundations from my drawers. I'm going to give myself a couple of options, things that I would wear on days when I don't have to go to work, as well as stuff that would be good for kind of long wear all day in a mask sort of situation. The first thing I want to do is I want to grab this. This is a product that I love, but I kind of forget that I have. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Foundation. I have the shade 1N1. This will be a beautiful product for days when I want to really lightweight but kind of a polished look. I normally go for the original double wear and I'm just like try something else. Um, maybe what would be good would be to pull this, the Infallible Full Wear from L'Oreal for work. This is another product that I actually really love and I think is great. I have the shade 405. Um, I think this is the shade Pearl. I could be wrong. This is another product I haven't used in a while. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This is a really long wear mattifying product. I'm gonna put this in for work. And oh, I love the Charlotte Tilbury foundations, the, the Light Wonder and the Beautiful Skin Foundation, but maybe I'm also gonna put in the Fenty Ease Drop. This is one that I bought last year is not a favorite of mine, but I'm trying to see if I can figure out a way to like it and use it. And um, I'm gonna put it in my bin for this month. For powder, I'm just gonna start with this. I'm getting close to finishing this up. This is the Pat McGrath um, under eye setting powder. And you can see the terracotta tile at the bottom. I'm gonna put this in for the under eyes. And this is, the rest of what's in here is all loose powder. You know, this is one I haven't used in a long time. I have to take some of the things out to get this one out. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. Um, I actually really like this on the face. I don't think it works well for me under the eyes. It says it's under eye and face. And <laughs> I only think it makes me look good on the face. Underneath the eyes, it 
it just makes me look like the crypt keeper. So I'll put this in. I have something already for under eyes. I always like having a pressed powder as well. I really have been liking the Laura Geller Bake Balance and Brighten to kind of um, touch up my skin if I take my mask off at work at lunchtime. I'm eating, I don't wanna have like a red nose and a red chin. Um, this is going in for work days. You know, I haven't used this one in forever. Maybe I should put this one in too. This is from Besame. I have a couple of Besame products in here. And uh, this is a gorgeous compact, but uh, this is the Marilyn Monroe powder from their um, Extraordinary Women collection from last year. But I love this so much. I'm going to put this in here. And maybe I'll put the other one in as well. Um, this comes in an Estee Lauder compact that I've had forever, but it actually fits pretty well. It's a little, it's a little bit small. Um, but this is the Peggy Carter shade. Um, and I don't know if they're still selling it as the Peggy Carter shade or a 1940 something shade, 39 or 1941. Um, but I'm gonna put this in as well. So that gives me some pressed powders as well as a loose powder. Another thing that I meant to try last month and I just never got around to it, it was too cold, is the Fenty body sauce. So I am going to put this in my bin for this month. Temperatures are definitely warming up. We're in the 90s. It's gonna get up to triple digits and look a little glowy, hydrated and bronzy would not be a bad thing. I need to get some correctors and some concealers out. I definitely can't be without the Beauty Pie Super Luminous Under Eye Genius that's going in. I also reach for the Glossier Stretch Concealer all the time in the summertime. I think those are kind of like my non-negotiables. So this is the drawer where I have the rest of my concealers that are in uh, tubes. Um, one that I haven't used in a long time, well, not a long time, but in a while, is the one from Dior, the Backstage um, Concealer. I'm going to put this in for this month, and I'm trying to look at the tones of my foundations to find one that'll match well. I think another one that would work probably pretty well um, would be uh, this one here from Lancome. This is the Tante Edel Ultra Wear. I think I'll put this one in as well, and I think with those three concealers, I should be pretty good. My most reach for primers are in this top thing here. I'm definitely going to take out this. It's limited edition packaging. I've had this forever, but this is the Tarte Creaseless, um, the, is it the Timeless Smoothing Primer? Um, I'm, I've hit pan on it, um, but I definitely like this when my uh, pores start producing a little bit more oil. And my favorite mattifying primer is this one here from Lancome. This is their Prep and Matte. So I'm gonna put this in my bin as well. My Lisa Eldridge Elevated Glows are big enough. They have to go in this larger drawer here. So I'm gonna put in the Pink Moon. But you know, I'm also gonna put in my favorite, 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 which is Crystal Nebula. This is just such a favorite. Another product that is kind of chunky and won't fit in the rest of my skinny drawers is this. And this is the Westman Lit Up Highlight Stick. I have the shade Lit. It's kind of like a, a white opalescent look to it. I'm gonna put this in. The first time I got this, I didn't really think I was gonna like it a lot, but I reminded myself the other day that this is gonna be great on lighter makeup days. So I'm gonna put this in my July makeup bin because once it heats up, there's really a lot less makeup I'm wearing, that's for sure. So I'll get some really good use out of this during the summer. I love looking glowy. I know I already have two highlights. I'm gonna add one more in. This is my fave, 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 the RMS Living Luminizer. Um, this is the most gorgeous kind of pearl cream highlight. It's not too much, it's just enough. I'm excited to have this in my bin for this month. And then my next couple of drawers are cream and liquid products. Oh man, I have been using this one from Ritual Defeat a lot. I've been using the Danessa Myricks a lot. What have I not been using? It's been a while since I've used this Rare Beauty blush. Um, this is in the shade Encouraged. So I'm gonna plop this in for this month. I'm also gonna grab two of the Natasha Denona Puff Paints. Um, I like mixing these two shades or wearing this one, which is a little bit, it's, this is the shade Tan. It's a little bit um, more neutral and it gives a really beautiful soft look. So I'm gonna put these in as well. You know, one of my favorites, oh, I'm so sad. I had to depot. I had all of the enlivening blushes from Lisa Eldridge, 
but the packaging died on me and I had product coming out the crimped end. I had product coming out around where the nozzle was fit into the tube. It was disaster. So I started putting them in these little jars and uh, this one is one of my favorites in Dante's Dream. And the other one that I love so much I have in here and this one is Venetian Red. So I'm gonna put these guys in there. That's a lot of cream blush. I think we're good. This drawer is where I have um, mostly bronzers, but I do have a couple of blushes in here. I have really been liking the Wonder Sticks from NYX. I'm gonna be putting their highlight and contour stick, mainly for the contour, in my bin for this month. I think I'm gonna pass on the rest of the bronzers in here. Uh, the last two trays are eyeshadow singles. I always like having, you know, something easy. One that I haven't used in forever is the Cream Color for Eyes from Tom Ford. I have the shade Spice. I'm gonna put this in for a one shadow look. I think I'm gonna pass on everything else that I have in here. I have a lot of Sydney Grace cream shadows in here. I love the Scattered Light from Hourglass. And this is one I put in last month and I didn't use at all. <laughs> this is one of the um, Chrome Flakes from Danessa Myricks. This is the shade Shooting Star. I'm committing to using this this month. Because I mean, look at it. It's so gorgeous, so gorgeous. I'm also gonna put in a couple of cream eyeshadows that I haven't used from Sydney Grace. Um, I have the shade Blossom, which is kind of a pink toned, and uh, this one here is Glory. Let me swatch them for you real quick. This pinkier shade here is Blossom. This kind of cooler, almost purpley tone is Glory. They have a really pretty shine to them. The light's coming from the other side, but they're really pretty, and once they dry down, they stay. So my goal is maybe to put one of these down and to put the Janessa Myricks Chrome Flakes on top. This drawer right here is the one in my desk and I can only pull it out so far because I'm sitting right here and I'm right next to the wall behind me. So I don't have a ton of room. This drawer could hold a little bit more, but I'm, I'm not gonna make it do that. I am gonna put in the Charlotte Tilbury um, Cream Bronzer. This is a new product. I have been loving this. I'm gonna be using that. This is one I have been loving a lot. Uh, so for work days, I'm gonna be using this infallible 24 hour fresh wear. I have the lightest shade in fair. So that's gonna go in. Um, another one that I can't stop reaching for, like I've been addicted to this and I had to put it in my drawer. It was like, don't keep going, uh, don't keep using it. But I have been loving this, especially for work days because I get a powder contour and a powder bronzer. And I know this one looks kind of orange and I was worried it was gonna make me look like an Oompa Loompa, but it's glorious. And there are days that I wear this and this and no blush because this has a little bit of radiance to it and it's warm enough to work as a blush and a bronzer. So I'm gonna put the Wayne Goss Radiance Boosting Face Palette in. I thought I was done with bronzer and then I saw this. I haven't used this in a while. This is the Patrick Ta. It has like the cream as well as the powder here. <gasps> yes, I'm gonna definitely be using this this month. And let's start thinking about blushes and highlights. I haven't used my Pat McGrath blushes in a while. This one is Nude Venus. I'm gonna put that one in. The other one that I love so much and is a little bit newer, I picked it up this year, but I'm addicted to this. That's why I had to put it in my drawer. This one here is Flirtatious. It's a really light, soft blush and I love it. So I'm gonna put this one in as well. It feels kind of weird not to be pulling for any of my M blushes. Uh, may maybe I'll put one in. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm kind of deciding, I have really been loving the ones from the Masterpiece collection. This is the lighter of the two. This one is Baroque, and I really have been liking Rococo. Maybe, maybe I'll put Rococo in. And Rococo is, you know, kind of like a dusty, nudie type of blush. I haven't used this one in forever. This is Estee Lauder's Heat Wave. This is a gorgeous highlight. I will put this in this month. I think I'm gonna put Dandelion Twinkle in as well. This is one that I like because it's it's kind of shimmery and highlighty, but it's really soft. It's not too much. So I will go ahead and put this one in as well. I definitely wanna put the Wayne Goss Luxury Eyeshadow Palette in Smoky Quartz in. I have been loving this. 
I also feel like I'm gonna be reaching for this a lot with some of the really soft tones in here. This is the Wayne Goss Luxury Eyeshadow Palette in Pearl. This is a favorite, I haven't used this in a while. This is from Essence, this is the Taupe It Up Palette. I really have been liking softer, kind of muted, cool tones, so this is gonna be exactly what I'm looking for this summer. I remember mentioning in a previous video that I should put this palette in for July. This is the Paris Edit from Viseart, and I definitely can see myself getting a lot of use out of these two more metallic tones down here. I like that we have kind of peachier, warmy tones in the middle and some cooler kind of blushy tones on the outside. This is going to be something I really enjoy. This. Petaphor from Viseart in Pasti is one that I really haven't used a lot. I've only used it a handful of times. I think July would be a great month. I could definitely see myself using all of these warm tones, but it would be fun to do like a pop of blue as a liner or a lower lash line moment. I'm definitely gonna be using this this month. I'm trying to decide whether I want the Chocolat palette or the Praline palette. I like having smaller, more curated color stories together. And this is one that I've had for a couple of years and I love, um, and I like to wear it a lot in the summertime. It has some really pretty colors in it, but these are a little bit more saturated. And maybe I'll go the Chocolat. Let me just quickly walk you through the larger palettes I'm gonna be putting in there as well. I came across this one when I was kind of going through my rose toned eyeshadow and I forgot how good it was. So I'm putting in the Natural Nudes from Too Faced. This is such a pretty uh, palette. It has some gorgeous kind of shiny shades. It has some neutrals, but they all lean just a little bit rosy and I love that so much. So that's going in. I've been a whole month without my beloved Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 2. Oh my goodness, I was like, I need to have this back in my life. So I am putting this back in rotation. You can see that there are huge indentations in those metallic palettes where I've been like swirling my finger in there. Yes, more of that. Um, I also picked up the new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette halfway through June. So I am still kind of trying to get to know this palette before I can do a full on review for you, but so far so good, I've been loving it. I like that it has some softer, but kind of murkier colors. Um, the greens, that deep kind of chocolatey brown at the end, along with that interesting kind of wisteria violet shade in the middle. So I'm gonna have this one in. Another one of my favorites that I am forever reaching for is the Enduring Love palette from Sydney Grace. This has a beautiful kind of like natural area right over here. And if I need some pops, I can go for this or stuff right along the edge. But I use this so much and I love the Sydney Grace formula. It's been a while since I've had it out for like monthly rotation, so I'm excited to have this. The last palette I'm gonna put back is the Rose Quartz from Huda Beauty. This is one that I also had in a um, drawer for about, I don't know, a month, and I wanna get back into using it, but I wanna use more of this half of the palette. Um, when I first got it, I really got comfortable with these nine pans, and I wanna do the same with these guys, and really use these, and even though it's more kind of cool bluey purple toned, um, to really go for that sort of look, it'd be fun, because they're super metallic. My bin is getting so full. Um, I'm gonna find a place in here for these and then we'll finish up with lip products and eye products. This is my lip collection. I love that this one here spins. <laughs> I've got a ton of stuff in here. But let me tell you, this is a new product that I picked up the other day. This is the Pout Sickle Lip Stain from Fenty Beauty. I have the shade Strawberry Sangria. It's like a bright, 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 bright red. This is one that I've only used a handful of times. I'm gonna put this in my bin for this month. Um, other things that I don't know that I can do without, I have really been liking the Fenty uh, Gloss Balm Heat. I have the shade Fussy. I'm gonna put that in for this month. I feel like those really glossy products like this uh, Makeup by Mario product, what is this? The Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Balm. This one is beautiful. I have the shade Mauve Glow, so I'll put that in. Another product that's new to my collection that I have been trying to form an opinion on is this one from Hourglass. This is the Phantom Tinted Lip Balm. It's really glossy. It's very much like the Makeup by Mario one. It's very much 
like the ones from M Cosmetics, the lip cushions that I am addicted to. So I'm gonna put this in, and I think I'll pull in the darker of the two neutral um, lip cushions from M. This one is in Van Gogh. It's a little bit more kind of terracotta in nature. My favorite red for summer is from Besame. This is the shade Red Hot Red. This is limited edition packaging from last summer. Um, you can still get this shade. The packaging will not be the Marilyn Monroe packaging, but this is gorgeous. I love that. And I'm going to pair that with um, the lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury in Kiss and Tell. Um, I'm going to need a lip liner for the one from Fenty, and I will pull in this Line It Loud from NYX. Um, this is the shade Rebel Red. I really love the lip liners from Wayne Goss. I have a ton of them. Um, but I'm going to put in Natural Berry and Sepia. These will be great to go with kind of those glossy, uh, lightweight lip products. If they need just a little reinforcing around the edge so they don't kind of go outside, I'll put these guys in. This is one of my favorite lipsticks in my entire collection, and it's so affordable. It's from Revlon. This is their Super Lustrous Glass Shine. I have the shade Nude Illuminator. Um, I have three of these, but this is the one that I use the most and I think is absolutely perfect with anything. It's another one of those glassy, glowy, super comfortable lip products. I love a sheer lightweight red lipstick and this one from Glossier is fabulous. This one is in the shade Fet. So I have kind of like a long wear stain, I have a long wear matte red lipstick, and then a glossy kind of lightweight one. That gives me plenty of nudes and plenty of reds. Let's see if there's any other formulations or shades that I need. I always reach for my Lisa Eldridge. I've got 24 of them right here. I think right now I would really love having um, her luxuriously lucent lipstick and painterly out. This one tends to be just a little bit more kind of cool raisin toned, um, maybe even just a little bit eggplanty. I'm gonna put that in. I'm also going to do something really fun and punchy. Oh, I love this. She has not ever made this color again. This one is Skyscraper Rose. This is a bright, punchy, demi-matte pink. I love this. This other one is also just happiness in a tube for me. This is the shade Rainbow Spill. It is so bright. It is so in like electric. It's almost like a neon pink. I'm going to put this one and um, Skyscraper Rose, which is just a little bit more blue toned in for this month. These will be like my fun, punchy statement colors. I'm swatching two more luxuriously lucent lipsticks from Lisa. This one here is um, Love of My Life, and this is Rose Official. And this one tends to be a little bit um, warmer and closer to my skin tone. This one tends to be a little bit more blue based, but I, I'm trying to decide. I'm gonna go for a love of my life. That's one, this one here that I haven't worn in a while. It came in the same collection as these pinks. These were summer pinks from 2019. I haven't worn it and it's like, let's use it. I'm gonna start with my brow products. I'm gonna give myself a brow pen. I'm gonna give myself the Glossier Brow Flick but I also am gonna need a pencil and a fiber gel. Um, I am going to put in this one from Beauty Pie. This is their Archology Eyebrow Sculpting Gel. I have the shade in Perfect Brown. I'm also gonna put in um, the Control Freak from NYX because there are days when my eyebrows are just kind of crazy. I don't know if it's how they dried or how I slept on them or what, but this really helps to kind of hold them in place. I'm gonna put this in there because sometimes uh, brow pen and this is all I need. The other product I'm going to put in here is a brow pencil. I'm kind of, I only have what, four brow pencils? Who am I? Oh boy, I'm doing real good at not over purchasing, but I'm trying to figure out which one is going to be the most useful to me this month. Um, I think I'll go with the NYX. I haven't used the micro brow in a while and I will be using these four brow products for the majority of my looks. For eyeliner, um, one thing that I forgot to pull from my drawers is this. This is the Inglot AMC Gel Liner. I love this. I have the shade 90. It's kind of like a deep, dark, almost espresso brown. This is something that I reach for all the time. And another one that I feel like I would be lost without is this one. This is the Illustrative Liner from M Cosmetics. So this is a, a pen style liquid liner. 
and then I have uh, the pot style that I need the brush for but these are two that like every month always 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 must use and then if I'm looking through the rest of what's here um, let's see Ooh, I haven't used the Pat McGrath um, permagel pencil in a while this one is in black coffee I'm gonna put this one in and do I have a shade that's not brown <laughs> I don't think I do most of my eyeliners are brown because that's just what I like. I think I might put this one in too. This is the one from Beauty Pie. Uh, this is in Molten Bronze. It's their Ultra Color Pro Gel Eyeliner. So I have like a deep dark brown and kind of like a metallic-y neutral color. I'm gonna put those guys in. That gives me, I can't believe it, four brown eyeliners. I think I need a black. Let's put a black in just for good measure. This one from Hank and Henry, this is the Blickety Black Eyeliner. Um, this is one that I like because it's not too black and for some people they want it as black as possible. I want it to not be too intense because black eyeliner on me is pretty stark. So I'm going to put this guy in. All right, mascaras. Um, I am trying the new one from Lancome. This is their La 8 Hypnose Mascara and um, it's kind of interesting. I don't know that I love the packaging. I don't hate it, but it, I mean it feels like it's really weighted and it's glass. I don't know that it needs to be. I know they're doing it for recycling purposes, but okay. Um, and it turns out it's a tubing mascara. I, I think this is great. So this is one that I'm using this month because we're still trying it out. My favorite one for work, and I'm gonna have to reorder it soon because I've had this one open for a while, is the one from Hamish, their Smudge Stop. This is another tubing formula that I cannot live without have been in love with this. So I've got two tubing formulas here and I need something just for every day. And this is where I want to know if I go for my Monsieur Big or if I go for the full frontal from Fenty. I have a, you know what, let's do the full frontal from Fenty. This is one that I am still trying to decide whether I like or not. Um, I know I love the one from Lancome. And I might use this one once or twice during the month, but ones that I'm trying to focus on for my non-work days, this would be great. Thank you so much for watching today. I My bin is so big and it's so full and it's like literally, I think I've never pulled this much makeup. I feel like I could like, like do arm exercises by raising this. And I think the reason that I ended up with so much in here is because my new bins are so much bigger. <laughs> Okay, that's a me problem. I really enjoy doing this because when I do, it reminds me, first of all, what I have. It reminds me to use what I have. And it also helps inform those purchasing decisions I'm thinking about. There's always new releases. And because as a beauty YouTuber, I do have a small income that I dedicate specifically towards beauty purchases. Um, I want to make sure that I'm not duplicating what I already have in my collection. Now, there are some times I just throw caution to the wind and purchase. But um, I think knowing what I have, seeing what there is, and really loving what I already own is such a big part of what I want to encourage you to do. Because there was a time when I was buying all the stuff I saw people talking about on YouTube, and I spent way more than I should have. And there was a lot of makeup that hardly ever got worn or that wasn't suited to my skin type or my makeup preferences. And then beyond that stuff that I ended up giving to friends or just throwing away when it went bad. That's not what I want to do. I want to pull from what I already have. I want to love what I already have and enjoy using it. Let me know what sorts of products you're reaching for as weather starts to get warmer and warmer. Maybe it's already super hot where you are. Um, my June was remarkably cool. Last year we had temperatures in the 100 and teens. It was 114, 117 this time last year. And um, now uh, it's we're just barely getting into like the low 90s. It's like mid 80s, high 80s, and I'm so happy. But I, I know that the triple digits are coming. They're coming and I'm gonna be sweating my face off. Uh, but at least I will have plenty of stuff to put on it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have an incredible day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.